So between first to five daw, so first to seven na lang. Final Fantasy seven Remake. <laughs> the adjustments, really. The adjustments. Those adjustments are key. Oh, he's got the Santa hat on top. Cool. Good. Boom. Alright. Hell sweet? Oh, okay. This is the one thing he really has down. Mm, I knew it. Oh, I did it! I was about to press Rage Art and I was afraid it was going to call me a cheater again. <laughs> but they fixed the bug, right? That's why there was a small update. So I should be theoretically allowed to press my Rage Art afterwards. Like, even if it's KO. Right, right. Down back three. It's okay, I own most of the, the space. Just using fast moves to keep him in. Locked in, alright. That's okay. Oh, I didn't press anything wild there. But he did get this one. Oh, short. Forward on pursuit? Ah, no forward on pursuit. You see how movement could get you that situation? And if I was staying in place, I would have blocked that. Beautiful. Oh, no back on pursuit. I'm running on the information that we had last time. So I was using Steve, I think. Last time. He would do CD1 into what he call this. Back on pursuit. Oh no. So first to seven. It's gonna be pretty long. I guess it might be. Round one. Man, I love the <laughs> the the Christmas hat. Like it's just there. It's like Bob went to a party or a Christmas party and he you know, they gave him the hat. It's cute. <laughs> I know it's like well, those random small details. Four rumps too. Oh no. He's ducking. Round two. And that's why some people like calling Huang the king of checks. Like because he's very good at checking an opponent. Oh, because of LFS2. LFS2, RFS1, LFF forward 2. Like those are super good. Oh, going big! However, what is the ender? Oh no, Battle of the Power Crushes. Ooh! RA. Of all things to press, I press RFF back 4. <laughs> the wall did the job for me. I didn't even get to end the combo properly. 1, 5, 3, 2 to the 22. Oh, he's not going to throw out back on this 2 anymore, huh? Okay. Counter hit colors, they're going in. CD3. Or RFF43, my bad. Classic BNB. &B. Alright, pressing 1 1 2. Looking for something. Get out. Alright, 1 2. Beautiful. Beautiful punish. Looking for that throw over there. He wanted to get big damage. 30 seconds left on the clock. Okay. Oh, you can't wake up Orbital. I'm, I don't have Brian privileges, apparently. That is a punish. However, it's a bad one. <laughs> That's two. Okay. Today is the day. Is it the day today you get cheese? True boy on bike? I call upon Shaheen, and there you go, it goes in. Please, tech. Oh no. Okay, I thought I was gonna get another one. That way I could have gotten the wall perfectly. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. Hell sweet. Dude. Back home to Stu. I am. Brian Fury. Oh, well, that's the wrong button. Hi, Hachi Mishima, true god fists. Oh, oh, that's how you punish it. You do crouch cancel into 3-3-4 three, three, and then somehow get lucky with... 
counter hit in between. <laughs> do not do that. Okay. I missed it. Yes. I'm the true boy on bike. Even the Paul Phoenix DF2. Paul Phoenix DF2. I wish it was as fast as Asuka's DF2. Like the recovery. Because she has the fa she has the safest DF2 in the game. DF2. Yeah, I deserve that. Converting it with the jabs, however, a little bit too short. Oh no, the orbital's kind of meh. It's not really like Brian's. Well, it's, it's, it's a good option though. Like, it, it exists. Like, if you want to use it. Oh! Up three. Up three. Yeah, if you, if you believe in your buttons, they will go in. <laughs> oh, what's happening? And Bruce FFO. Oh, yeah, yeah, Bruce had a FFO before. I've forgotten about Bruce. Because <laughs> he's not in the game. I wish they add him. Well, not in Tekken 7. Add him in Tekken 8, right? F1 plus 2? There you go. I press the button. Yeah, Tekken 8, Tekken 8. Hopefully they don't nerf Huang too much. Oh, right. Okay. That's actually a better check. Now, is it? Because it's unsafe. Because usually what happens in that scenario after this jab string is that someone jabs. There you go. <laughs> Good. That's a really fast adjustment. But how good was Bruce FF4 anyway on block? I don't know. I think I wasn't part of that time. <laughs> All I know is that Bruce is back too and it hurts like, like a ton. And his, his CD3 also hurt a lot. It's like a staple of Bruce. Oh no, he can't let me let, he let me keep that leg up for too long. Okay, is he gonna go low? No, he's not. Stayed safe. Oh no! <gasps> if he continued the string and I attempted to punish, I would have lost. Yes. Uh huh. Down back forward. Oh, the true belief in the buns. Oh no, the true belief in the buns. He's got it. It's back down to the the chop. I think it's a chop, right? Would be nice for Huang's Oki. I don't know, there's a, there's a lot of other stuff from Beck that I wish they gave to Huang. Like his low parry. The Beck low parry. And Beck while standing 2 1. And Beck down back 2. And Beck back back 2. And maybe give him Beck's actual left flamingo forward 3. The one that's pseudo homing. Yeah, the GH thing. Okay, okay. Yeah, the chop. Yeah, that would work too. Like, there's so much stuff from Beck I actually would want slapped onto Horang. Again, if they don't want to use Beck's asset, the whole. And they're they're willing to go over to Horang becoming like the master and whatnot. Although I feel like it's a waste of assets though. They could easily slap that on another character. Oh, that was counter hit. There is a lot of stuff, like if you swap slap onto Hoang from Beck, there's a lot of stuff Hoang would definitely benefit from. Like even the punch parry. They should actually let Hoang do the punch parry while he's in Flamingo as well. It's really annoying that he can, you can only do it in uh, LFF, like regular stance. But of course, like they're trying to keep Horang and Beck separate. That's why Horang's getting inferior versions of Beck's stuff. Like all the stuff he got from Beck are all inferior. Aside from back one, until they nerfed back one by like a lot. <laughs> yeah, they nerfed back one by a lot. Because it was exactly it was exactly Beck's back one, one for one. And it was deemed too slow. But by itself, I believe it's unsafe. 
If you give the extensions. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, Hoang keeps getting the inferior versions of deck stuff. Kinda sucks. Well, Armor King got the down 3 1 for 1, right? And, uh, well, King got Armor King's down 3 1 for 1. Uh, I mean, Beck doesn't need to come back. You could literally slap it on another character who's somehow related to Beck or Horan, right? I would prefer that. Like, it could be a, any type of character they want to slap it on. Whether it be human or not human. For as long as they use Beck's assets again. Yeah, like, you could also reuse Wang's assets as well. Like, I wouldn't wait for, like, Tag 3. Although they might... Tag 3 is gonna be a mess of a game. <laughs> Leroy and <laughs> Fakumram team. That's gonna be super, super annoying. Yeah, it's gonna be more annoying if they're really good at tagging. Which I guess they might be pretty good at tagging. Yeah, they actually might be pretty good at tagging. Because they have so many moves and so many launchers that most likely would swap out during tag. Like, let's say you do Fakumram while standing. Tag out into Leroy QCF2. <laughs> Let's say Leroy QCF2 is also taggable, right? <laughs> Leroy back 1 plus 2 into a raw tag to Fakubram. That's gonna be a big red life damage. Yeah, just thinking about it, it's just gonna be really, really dangerous. Super, super dangerous. That pairing alone is gonna be kind of broken. <laughs> it probably be would. It probably would be super broken. I'm not ready for Tag 3. It's okay, there's gonna be Miharu, right? It's super good. Like, Tag 1 gaming is pretty intense. And unique as well. Like, there's a Horang there, who I still have to learn from. Because it was really good. Given the tools Horang had in Tag 1, compared to everyone else. Like, he was a weaker character. I would say Tag 2 or Tekken 7 is his best versions. Whether you want to put 7 or Tag 2 above each other, doesn't really matter the order. The order to me doesn't really matter. But still, they're on top of everything else. 4 1 plus 2? Okay. So, I mean, Tag 2 it could be like Ling Lei. And Lei is a really good tag character. You just do FF3 into Tag Out. Works every time. And some people aren't satisfied with like getting the down jab punish on it. So sometimes they just let it go completely. <laughs> Should start studying Lei or Leroy. Oh no, Leroy Ling. <laughs> That's gonna be really, really annoying. Super annoying. Oh. Back three. Yeah. He's still not gonna go low, right? Yeah, it'd be a good investment because you know Tag 3 would come out eventually. So Tekken 7, Tekken 8, Tekken 9, then Tag 3. So that's a long way, a long way to go, but yeah, it'll, it'll probably happen within our lifetime. Probably, hopefully. Oh no, what's with the ducks? Or not, I don't know. I'm guessing. Because Tekken 7's on 5 years now, right? And it's kind of dependent if Namco wants to make Tekken a, what do you call this, uh, an eSport title fully. So that means keeping just one game and then just updating that over and over again. Or making new editions every time. I don't know which route they should fully take. And it depends on their data, right? Okay, that sounds, that sounds okay. For the details of the uh, next first to five. Oh, I think he still thinks it's the first five. No, it's the first. It's the first to seven. So give me two more games. The only, the only game I wouldn't be playing is what you call that Tekken X Street Fighter. If that game comes out, I'm seriously not playing that. No, I thought we were still in the Philippines. <laughs> uh, I'm on PLDT. Well, PLDT has like the best connections all around compared to the other ISPs like Converge, Globe, and Sm Globe, uh, Sky. Like. PLDT has the best. Well, quote unquote, the best, right? Like, it has the least problems. Let's put it that way. 
it has the least problems. Ah, uh, back three. Yeah, I deserve that. So this is match point already. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Gotta get a game. Gotta put something up on the board. Wait a minute. Have people been able to put stuff on the board lately? In this cheese doja? From what I remember, no. Okay. Plus eight. Plus eight into jab's a pretty good strat. Some people forget that jab's actually eight. eight, eight like eight frames. It gives you it's positive eight. That's how I remember I think I forgot what set it was, but I remember it was Take who was doing it. He would do a jab into it, grab immediately. And because there's really no button that really interrupts it. Because the jab comes out around 10 to 12 frames. Beautiful. Mmm, not ducking as much. What if I just throw the 3 3 4? Oh no, that hit. Mmm. -hmm. I'm gonna get that. <laughs> I said I was gonna get it. I stole your cheese. It's mine now. That means you'll duck in the first now. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, you could step it. Provided I didn't lock you with RFS F4 earlier. Mm, yeah, okay. That's a better, better risk. Better, better choice, actually. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Good. How sweet. Oh wow, that's still connected. Good games to kick I am. Good games. Oh no. You're gonna wait, right? I'm still alive. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I, I, was, I was really prepared to like the rage art to hit me, but I guess not. <laughs> 